Normally, the iconjunctiva contains a network of very fine blood vessels. The underlying sclera is white. Therefore, inflammatory processes in the eye can cause dilation or hemorrhage of these small blood vessels and it causes red eye. That's why, red eyes can arise as a manifestation of many different diseases. Conjunctivitis. Conjunctivitis is the most common cause of a red, irritated eye. Pain is minimal, and visual acuity is reduced only slightly. If conjunctivitis is caused by viruses, watery discharge is presented, and mild foreign body sensation is common. If conjunctivitis is caused by bacteria discharge is mucopurulent. Photophobia also can be presented. The viral infection may be associated with other symptoms of a common cold. Both viral and bacterial cases are easily spread between people. The most common cause of conjunctivitis is a viral infection, especially adenovirus. Treatment. Viral conjunctivitis is self-resolved. Bacterial conjunctivitis, mild cases can be treated with broad-spectrum topical antibiotics such as sulfacetamide 10%, or a trimethoprim polymixing combination. Prevention is partly by hand washing. Allergic conjunctivitis. Allergic conjunctivitis is an extremely common condition, affects 20% of the population, and commonly is mistaken for infectious conjunctivitis. Symptoms are itching, redness, epiphora, watery eyes, edema, swelling, of the conjunctiva, and foreign body sensation with pain. The cause of allergic conjunctivitis is an allergic reaction to an allergen. Common allergens are pollen from trees, grass, and ragweed, animal skin and secretions, perfumes and cosmetics, medications, and air pollutants. The palpebral conjunctiva may become hypertrophic and it gets a cobblestone appearance. It is called cobblestone papillae. In many cases allergic conjunctivitis is combined with allergic rhinitis. Treatment. Avoid allergens if possible. Antihistamines, mast cell stabilizers, or dual activity drugs are safe and usually effective. Corticosteroids are reserved for more severe cases of inflammation. Dry eye syndrome. Dry eye syndrome caused by either decreased tear production or increased tear film evaporation. Dry eye syndrome is also known as keratoconjunctivitis sicca. Dry eye syndrome is a common eye disease. It affects 5-34% to of people to some degree depending on the population looked at. Dry eye prevention can be, limiting contact lens use, limiting computer screen use, avoiding environmental conditions can decrease symptoms. Complications can be prevented by use of wetting and lubricating drops and ointments. For example natural tear. Corneal abrasion. Corneal abrasion is a scratch to the surface of the cornea of the eye. The cornea is the transparent front layer of the eye that covers the iris and pupil. Cornea is optical, lens-like structure and it refracts light towards midline. Symptoms of corneal abrasion include, pain, redness, light sensitivity, and a feeling like a foreign body is in the eye. In case of corneal abrasion foreign body within the eye should be ruled out. Commonly, the cause of corneal abrasion is trauma to the surface of the eye. For example poke it by a finger, itching too much, or wearing old contact lenses. Diagnosis is often by slit lamp examination after fluorescent dye has been applied. Most people recover completely within three days. Treatment is typically with antibiotic ointment. In those who wear contact lenses a fluoroquinolone antibiotic is often recommended. Subconjunctival hemorrhage. Subconjunctival hemorrhage usually occurs because of trauma, rubbing eye, or spontaneous. It is caused by rupture of small vessels between the episclera and the conjunctiva. It causes red eye, but vision is not affected and the hemorrhage resolves without treatment. Blepharitis. Blepharitis refers to inflammation of the eyelids. The eyelid margins usually are colonized heavily by the bacteria Staphylococci. Upon close inspection, they appear inflamed, with scaling, reddening, and crusting of the eyelid. Symptoms include inflammation, irritation, itchiness, a burning sensation, excessive tearing, and crusting and sticking of eyelids. 
Routine washing of the eyelids helps subdue symptoms and prevent blepharitis. Washing each eyelid for 30 seconds, twice a day, with a single drop of hypoallergenic soap. Treatment. Topical antibiotics such as bacitracin polymyxin b ophthalmic ointment can be applied. Systemic antibiotics can be used in severe cases. For example, tetracyclines or azithromycin. Sometimes, corticosteroids in conjunction with antibiotics are used. The supplement N-acetylcysteine may be effective for blepharitis.